guys, welcome back to my channel. I am sorry it has been a while. I've been ill. I had the Australian flu. Yay. You can st I still slightly sound like Janice from Friends, as you can tell. My nose and my chest just went nuts. My asthma set off and I ended up on this like really strong steroid inhaler and I died. I just died. I was so ill. Please ignore the buzzing in the background. My next door neighbour is like filing something down, the electric filer. Whatever those are called. I got new glasses. I can see again. Turns out my right eye doesn't work in tandem with my left, so I was basically seeing slight double and that was why I couldn't focus, so that's made my life a lot easier. <laughs> Life's been busy, but I'm here. Um, yes. <laughs> so I thought today I would show you a what's in my rehearsal bag, forward slash general life, forward slash acting bag. I'm just going to call it a rehearsal bag. Someone commented on one of my last videos that this is what they wanted to see, so I thought I would do that. I'm going to start with my normal bag. So for my normal bag, I use a sort of blue and pink um, Fjall Raven, one of the best pack packs on the market. The amount of shit I have shoved in this and it still doesn't break. I've said it now, touch wood. <laughs> and it's amazing. Uh, I have faith in this. I keep uh, a hair clip on there because I have a lot of hair, as you can tell. And I have a clip, a carabiner clip that has Imogen on it, on it, and I like that. And then I made a Scooby so that I can undo and do the front pocket. I'll show you what's in the front pocket first. Um, I have a reusable bag that I'm not going to open up because then I have to fold it back up again. I got this in foils, I think it was £10, but it is the best like reusable bag you will ever find. It goes right over your shoulders, plenty of room, it carries so much, it will carry an entire shop's worth of shopping. I love it, it's amazing, this is it, go and get it. It's amazing. Um, and then I keep a few bits in the front bag as well. So I have another inhaler, just in case. I have another inhaler in my main bag as well, but this is just my fail safe inhaler. I have really crappy lungs. Uh, a spare Burt's Bees lip balm, spare lip balm, because you always need lip balm, especially in a country where the weather is crap. Mentos, because I've got to love Mentos. And then I have some vegan -y snacks, which is uh, naked bar and some licorice. Now I know that Mentos are not vegan, but I bought them before I went vegan, so I'm I'm not gonna not use them. And it's it's be the only reason that they're not vegan is because of beeswax. But I use Burt's Bees lip balm, so I feel like, and I'm not gonna stop using Burt's Bees lip balm. It's certified by the Leaping Bunny Corp, so uh, it's it's a tricky one, but it's there. I'm vegan, but. I'm, I'm, I'm trying my best. I'm, I'm slowly getting there. Uh, yes. So I have those as like snacks. They don't run out for ages, so I keep those. That's the chocolate orange one, and that's just normal licorice. Although I've fallen in love with the raspberry licorice, both of which are vegan, by the way. Just if you wanted to know. And the naked bars are certified vegan. We're now going to move on to, if I can put my hair behind my head, um, the main. Oh, actually no. Do you know what? I'm going to go into the sides of my backpack. I think there's anything in there. Uh, I always carry water with me. Always carry a water bottle. This is from Highland Spring. I got this given to me when I was at the um, Counterfeit concert recently, about three weeks ago, <laughs> just before I got ill, <laughs> uh, which was really awesome. And they were giving out free alcohol, but I don't really drink, so I didn't drink. And I asked for water, and they didn't have water. They only have water for the band, and they very kindly gave me one of the band's water. And then I was at the front, and I put it down on the floor, and one of the band picked it up and drank it without realising that it was mine, because they thought it was their water. So that's been drunk by someone in the bands, but also be, and I don't, I just keep using it. It's a water bottle. And my friend's got my actual water bottle that I tend to reuse, so I'm kind of in a sticky situation right now. So the thing I love about Kanken is it does this. It opens completely up. You can lay out everything. So at the top, I have my Oyster card. I have my 16 to 25 card in there that is expired. I need to do that. Um, but it's really good. This is from Kath Kidston. It's got a compartment so I can put photo ID in one side, but I use I use that bit to put everything like Oyster card on that in. My Oyster is the uh, anniversary of the Underground, 150th anniversary. Um, but I use the back bit to put coins in because if you go to some of the train stations in London and you need to use the loo, you have to pay for the loo. It's like 30 to 50p, depending on which station. I use Waterloo mostly and it's about 30p for the loo, so I just keep spare change in there just in case because um, then it's always at hand. So. Then I have um, a notebook with a pen attached. I haven't used this notebook yet, it's there if I need it. This is a moleskin one, it's the chapters collection. It's good though, it's dotted. Uh, I then have the case for the glasses that I'm currently wearing, so that's empty but it's in there. Always carry your glasses case with you because I use mine for both general and for reading. 
but it just varies it varies I always carry nail files now this sounds really weird I put it in a toothbrush trap case because otherwise they like to scrap your shit up so then it stops them from scratching everything up it's a very clever idea I mean they rattle but at least none of your stuff's been scrapped up headphones but with the lightning charger one so that I can listen to music on my iPhone I then have house keys with my library card that I've never really used the cooperative Morrison's um, Waitrose and Holland and Barrett on it and a keyring that my friend from the US gave me she's cool and then it says face keys on it because these used to be my mum's spare keys and they're now my keys <laughs> I then have this little pencil case always carry pencils on you or a pen or something of the like you never know when you're going to need a pen or a pencil or what it's going to be for so I currently have uh, a pen from the University of Cambridge that I had when my mom and I went on a trip there and it's my lucky pen I love this pen a mechanical pencil this is the Papermate one I think yeah Papermate I use I normally use the one from Muji but it's run out of lead and I need to get some more lead for it so this isn't normally the one I use the other one's a bit smaller uh, I then have this pen that doesn't work but it has a cat on it and I think it's cute so it stays there a Biro which is absolutely amazing this is the Bic Soft um, Feel Med one Ooh. There's an ambulance. Yeah, it's definitely an ambulance. We live near a hospital, so. Yeah, the Big Soft feel, and it's absolutely amazing. I'm someone who writes like this, so I grip really weirdly, and it usually puts a lot of pressure there on my finger, so that's got a really soft bit, so it's really good, and it just works really well. It's a really nice pen. I then have a rubber, um, which Americans will find very funny. It's actually got a racer written on it, but Brits call them rubbers. I then have my Apple Pencil which will make sense later so if I have the iPad Pro which I'll show you in a bit that I use for um, a lot of acting-y stuff um, but it's very very useful and I just keep it in a pencil case <laughs> because why not and then I have my Waterman ink pen which I'm very fond of I grew up writing with ink pens the school I went to we didn't start with we started with pencils when we were younger and then when we got to year three we moved on to uh, ink pens so I'm I grew up on ink pens quintessentially so that's really my pen of choice next I have my makeup which isn't a, it, it looks like a lot but it's not I carry more than I actually use like on a daily basis I use an eyelash curler some mascara eyebrow pencil which isn't vegan and I need to swap sorry some concealer and occasionally some lipstick most of the stuff I use is certified vegan I use that before anyway the only thing I don't I have that isn't vegan is the benefit brow pencil but it works on my brows I'm working on it. I'm getting there slowly, like I really am. And also, when I got my eyebrow pencil, I didn't realise that the company that I normally buy from, which is Arbonne, which I am like a part of, because then you get my massive discounts, literally did one reason um, that I use it really. <laughs> um, they bought eyebrow pencils out after I'd bought myself new eyebrow pencil, and I was like, <sighs> really annoyed me. Next up, I have my planner. So this is literally the best planner you'll ever get. It's called Action Day Planner. And it lays, it gives you at the beginning, it helps you set your goals and goal setting is important. It then gives you sort of like an overview of months. And then what I do is this, and that is, it has it so that you have um, time during the day and on the day so you can literally like completely plan your day out so you know exactly where and when you're going to be it's not just like on a day you've written one thing and you're like well what time during the day is that you can put it do that tasks down the side delegation and teamwork and goals and projects for the week so for me it really works um, everybody's different but I really love this I had it last year but in the blue uh, but they didn't do it with the um, with the yellow going down on the elastic this time and I was like I'll just go for a plain black one this year <laughs> so colourful next is my purse so I have like my cards and stuff in there I actually have money in there that's unusual <laughs> uh, my driving licence all of my loyalty cards I only have this little one I used to have a massive purse but it used to just get in the way and used to annoy me so I, I downsized <laughs> this is from Brandy Melville I think we're down to like the last few things this is my medical bag now, for those of you who don't know, I suffer from a stomach condition. I have IBS, some form of possible bowel disease, they're not sure, and possibly this thing called BAD. My gut's a mess, quintessentially. <laughs> um, so I have to carry a lot of medical stuff with me. I'm also vitamin D deficient, so I carry a vitamin D spray, for one. Another inhaler for my, my failing lungs. My face cream, because my face dries out 
but this works. Like, this is the best face cream you'll ever have. I'll go into skincare another time. I carry ibuprofen, loperamide, which is Imodium. I also have a ton of Imodium Instance, Neurofen Plus, um, Feminine Wipes, because, ladies, mints. <laughs> polos, I have polos. I have codeine for pain management when my gut gets really bad. Um, some form of face, not face cream, that's hand cream. A mini hand cream in there. Diflam. If you're a singer as well, you'll know that Diflam is your friend when you're ill. So like, especially recently when I've had the Australian flu, my throat went, my nose went, my chest went. So Diflam is great. It's an antiseptic throat spray and it's absolutely amazing. I would highly recommend if you're a singer to have that in your arsenal of um, singing things. Singing things. Uh, yeah, I have a ton of Imodium instance. Um, very useful when you have a tummy condition. <laughs> That's sort of my little medical bag. Little story about this bag. When I was working at Waitrose, a woman came through and I saw, and she um, she just been to Clarence and I was like, oh, it's such a pretty bag, and um, oh, it's so cool. It's like my it's one of my favourite colours. I love this colour. It's, it's a similar colour to my backpack, um, but a bit brighter. And I love I love sort of a turquoisey greeny colour. And she was like, do you want it? And I was like, are you sure? And she was like, yeah, have it. She took the stuff that Clarence had given her in it out of it and then gave it to me, and I use it every day now. So it's that woman who gave this to me. Just know I use it every day. <laughs> Next up is this bad boy. I know I carry so much stuff and I need to downsize, um, but like in terms of medical stuff, I can't downsize. So that's kind of annoying. This is a Tanya Burr bag that I got last year for Christmas, uh, not 2017, 2016. And I carry a host of things in here. So I have Batiste, Savlon, Blister Plasters, Dedorant, as my grandma likes to call it. <laughs> we call things funny things in my family. Sanitary towels for the ladies. I also, I don't know why it's separate. I have this little feminine pouch, as I like to call it, um, with a whole host of every single type of thing a woman may need in it. I think I thought I was running out of something and I just shoved that in there, I must have done. I have scissors and tweezers, like little sewing scissors and a pair of tweezers because you never know when you're gonna need those, literally. They've come in useful so many times. I have a tiny tub of coconut oil. You never know when it's gonna come in useful. So say if I'm doing a show and I forgot makeup remover, I can use that. If you've got a bit of sore, dry skin, you can use that, it's an antiseptic. It's it's an all purpose thing. So I've got a tiny little, little tub of that. Tiger balm. If you get headaches, the best stuff you can possibly get is Tiger Balm. You you can't not have this in your arsenal. This is the white ointment one. Just pop into boots and get it. It's quite a heavy tub, because it's made out of glass but you will not regret that. I have some happy oils, so it's um, essential oils that make you happy. It's a rollerball from um, Boots. It's the revitalizing rollerball with lemon and rosemary. I never use it, but it's in there. I then have the Burt's Bees Lemon Butter Cuticle Cream. I love Burt's Bees, I really do. For stuff like my lips and my nails, they're absolutely amazing. I, for some reason, <laughs> and I don't, I don't know why, have a um, uh, one of my crystals in there. I'm a big crystals fan. I have like a little load of them over there. And I can't remember what this one is. I think it's green agate. But I obviously put it in there for a reason, so it has meaning. <laughs> Lord knows. That's kind of it. It's just crap at the bottom of there, to be honest. Um, after that, I'm just gonna shove these back in. Yeah, so that's, that's my bag. There is a system. <laughs> it's a really weird system, but it's there. Nah, nah. I know exactly where everything goes now. I've had this bag for a long, long time. It was my best investment, this backpack. It costs quite a lot of money. Uh, like, I think it's nearly 80 pounds or something like that. But it's such a good backpack. And I prefer backpacks because of my my back. Helps my back. Now, whenever I'm going to... This is more my rehearsal bag. That's my general bag. My rehearsal bag is this. It is a Great Gatsby tote bag. I use this tote bag really for everything whenever I'm transporting other things that won't fit into my backpack. It's my favorite bag. The Great Gatsby is my all time favorite 20th century novel, if you didn't know, and is incredible and you need to read it. F. Scott Fitzgerald is amazing. I wish I could have met him. My granddad got to meet him when he was younger. He was seven when he met F. Scott Fitzgerald. I hate my grandfather, but I also love him. <laughs> so I'm just gonna start. I have a coffee mug in here. So when we're doing like read throughs or that kind of a rehearsal, I like to have peppermint tea. Now normally I would keep a tea bag in there. There isn't a tea bag in here at the moment because I'm not going anywhere, technically. This um, this whole bag is for like if I was doing a show. I'm not doing a show at the moment, just 
FYI, if I was doing a show, I'd let you guys know and then you could come along and see me. But there's nothing here at the moment. This is the Waitrose one, because I used to work at Waitrose, and I picked one up. This is the blue one with like flowery things on it. I really like it, it's incredibly insulating. My tea stays hot for two to three hours, I'm not kidding you. Um, and I'm not just plugging it because I worked at Waitrose, like honestly, I love it. And I take this usually with me anywhere I go if I'm going to a rehearsal or something like that. I also think with the amount of, um, you know, coffee cups that we use that go to landfill, I don't like that at all. So I'll always have, sit down and have coffee in re in like a china mug that can be washed if I'm at a place. Or I'll bring this with me because I think it's a better option. For the planet. Now, here is a glasses case with another pair of glasses. <laughs> um, I have two pairs of plain glasses because... Um, I'm known for losing glasses. These are black ones, just plain black ones. That's my other pair. That's, that, I thought they were gonna be my favorite pair, but it turns out these ones are. Um, these are more rounded and I, I really like them. Um, but that's another pair of glasses because I'm known for losing one pair and picking up another. So I put those in there just for my brain. Vocal Zone are amazing. These are throat pastels. I'm just gonna, that's a bit better. These are throat pastels. I've used these for years. They're absolutely amazing. You can get them in boots, I think. I get usually get mine from boots. They clear throat out from mucus and crap if you're having a bad throat day, regardless of whether you're singing or acting or whatever. It's really, really good. They taste vile and they stick through your mouth and they're like really mentally and minty and uh, but they work so always have those that's my my advice highlighters highlighters now these are my favorite highlighters they're put together with spetty betty band because life <laughs> these are by post-it so they're really good highlighters they're actually amazing for highlighting um, but they have little post-its at the top, so you can highlight and post it at the same time. So they're tiny, like, markers, which I find really useful. Because if I'm doing um, a script and I need to say... I, I have different colours for different meanings, and then that obviously mean they obviously have meaning for me and then I can go back on my script and look at things that I need to look at or things like that or specific scenes, certain choreography or whatever we're doing. They're really, really useful. I have those in a bundle. Um, I have the orange, green, blue, yellow and pink and you can only get these offline off like um, eBay. I think they actually can only be gotten in like uh, China or um, like Japan. Uh, you can't, I, the first one I got was in the UK, the first like pink one I got was in the UK, but I've never seen it since the like, first time I got it. So I'd honestly, you can get these online, I'll see if I can find a link. Another pen theme is a sharpie. You never know when you're going to need a sharpie, especially for like labelling scripts or whatever, have a sharpie on you, regardless of what colour it is. This is a plain black one. Just, just for instance. <laughs> Next up is this. This is only if you're doing like a show. I was going to put my show makeup in it, but I think it's going to make it far too long. Um, this is something that I got when I went to the Christmas fair up at the Olympia, I think it was, was it the Olympia, I can't remember. The Spirit of Christmas Fair with my mum, it was great fun. And this is a mirror, so you might be able to see yourself, I don't know. Can you, can you see yourself? Oh no, you can see my chandelier, there you go. But this is a really, really cool mirror. It brightens up, look, can you see the LEDs? So I can do my face makeup and have lighting um, regardless of where I am. So if there isn't, if I'm going into a theatre that hasn't got a proper light up station or whatever, I can do my makeup properly. But it's also a much bigger mirror um, and it's really, really useful and it's amazeballs. Next up is of course script. This is for instance, this is Boys by Ella Hicks and if you haven't read it, read it, it's amazing. I love this play. Um, but this is for instance, you can see I've got little tags and things from where I've been reading it. Now if I'm if I'm going um, to rehearsal or if I'm going to be on a show day where I know my script inside and out and I'm not going to be looking necessarily at it. I know people say, oh you should be looking at your script until the last minute. But it's like to my mind you should know your lines and you should know what you're doing before then. So whatever you want to do as an actor it's fine. But I will bring another book that I'm reading which I'm still on Save the Cat. I need to finish it. I need to finish it but I'm so busy at the moment with my yoga training and other stuff so uh, meh. yeah I'm busy. But yeah, Sith the cat. Next up is a notebook. Now, this is just a general notebook. There's nothing actually in it. I haven't used this yet. I got it today <laughs> when I was out with my mum. But I have a new notebook for every single play that I do. So whenever I'm doing a separate show or whatever, I have a special notebook specifically for that show so that all those thoughts are in one collective place. It can be any notebook. It's not always A5. Sometimes it's smaller, sometimes it's bigger. It depends on how I'm feeling or what notebook I feel fits the play. 
That sounds weird, but that's how I work. So any notebook will do, um, but I like to keep all of my theatrical thoughts in one place when it's for a specific show. Last but certainly not least is my iPad. <laughs> My beautiful iPad. This is the really big one. It's the, um, I think it's the 12 inch one. Um, it's really, really useful. I use the pen with this because there's a brilliant app called Good Notes. And let me go on to here. And I can then edit scripts on here. And I can do what I like. I can write notes, things like that. I love to have a paper copy with me regardless. But it means I can do things theory notes, things like that, whatever. And I've also got another copy of the script. If say someone's forgotten their copy, then I can either lend them the paper copy and I can use this or vice versa, whatever. I think it's just always good to have an extra copy, but also I can then do typing up notes as well because it has like a keyboardy thing. So it's a very useful tool. I love it to death and use it all the time. Yeah, that is it. That is um, my bags tour for my, my rehearsal stuff. It seems like a lot, sometimes it's more, sometimes it's less. It depends on what show I'm doing, what I'm doing during the day, but that's just a general consensus as to what I bring. I'm trying to think if there's anything else, but I don't think that there is. Sometimes I'll bring a storybook to read if I'm not feeling like theory on that day, regardless of whether it's personal study or whatever. Of course, also if I'm on show day and I'm wearing makeup, then I will also bring my skincare, but I want to do that in another video if you guys want to see my theatrical skincare care uh, because as an actor you know our faces are our jobs and our skin is important um, the way we look after our bodies is I would love to talk about that um, at some another point to tell you what goes on on my face and how I keep it nice and clean I don't tend to wear a lot of makeup just eyes really eyes and eyebrows don't pluck your eyebrows when you're young kids <laughs> that's what I did I was in the 2000s it's not my fault but yeah thank you for joining me um, this is my, my home. It's gotten darker slowly outside. Uh, you can tell I'm filming in the afternoon. Um, this is my A pillow, like an A-shaped pillow that supports my spine when I'm reading and I love that. Yes, I'm glad you've watched this through. Sorry it's so long. Uh, don't apologise for yourself Imogen. Don't apologise for yourself. But yeah, I'm glad you've watched. If you've got any suggestions for videos that you'd like to see or if there's, again, plays you want me to review, let me know. Just leave a little comment or if you don't want to like publicly leave a comment, just send me either an email. My email's um, on my about bit, apparently. Um, or you can just contact me on my social media. I'm Imogen DSC on everything on Twitter and Instagram. So feel free to to follow and and ask questions and all that jazz and if you want to see any more of this hit the subscribe button wherever the hell it is down there I don't know my left and right and I don't want to guess so it's down in that direction there we go <laughs> uh, anyway guys thank you so much for watching I really do appreciate that you watch my content and what I create and what I put out into the universe and uh, I shall see you through a lens sometime very very soon love you all guys bye